So in this video, I will show you how to uh, connect with Git uh, in your Visual Studio. So I am using Visual Studio 2019 Community Edition. And initially, when I got into this project and opened the Visual Studio, there was no Git option. So what you will have to do is you have to go to Extensions um, in order to get this Git uh, menu. And what you will have to do is go to Manage Extensions and in the online marketplace you have to look for git and basically you will have to install this github extension for visual studio once you click this and uh, you know install it can take a couple of minutes after that you have to close your visual studio and reopen it again and then um, you should be able to see the git option here and uh, once you are in here in order to connect with your github you have to get into your to get into your team explorer so this allows you to connect to github or as azure devops so in this case i will just click on connect and i will sign with, sign in with my browser or whatever suits you better so i will just give my github account details here and sign in so you'll have to authorize github so basically visual studio by github wants to access your uh, github account so you need to click that authorize github button here so it will take you to your github repositories uh, now i will create a new repository in my github so i will click on new here and i will call it test demo and i will just create this repository and in my visual studio project i will fix the upstream uh, to the new uh, github repository I just created so I will show you now how to do that First thing what I will do is I'll create a git repository so that will create a repository locally So you can see that the attributes ignore file and all are created So that means now we have created the local git repository uh, now I want to um, set the repository settings to you know to the central github repository whatever we created so um, for that i will have to set the upstream so what i will do in here is i will click on team explorer here and i'll go to the settings of this project i click on repository settings and in here there is an option to add the remote origin so i will name it upstream here and if you go to your github server you will see that when you created the repository that is how you push the existing repository to the uh, from the command line but in here we are doing it from visual studio so i need the origin url so i have copied it here and pasted it here and fetch and push are same so i will save it now and i'll click on home and i will just sync it right so now it says that um, outgoing commits are this what i will do is i click here and do a push and it is pushing all the things to the server and if i go to my github uh, repository and do a f5 here refresh the page here you will see that everything is being pushed to the github server so what i'll do is i'll just add a, a small change to one of the files so maybe on in program.cs i'll just write console dot write then hello and i want to push this change to the repository now what i'll do is i will um, go to git changes and hello uh, change right and i will commit it i'll click on sync and now you can see that this change is in here so i have to just push it again and I click on push and it is initializing and sending it across to the github server so in here if I refresh it now and if I go to my program.cs you should see this line being there now so that is how you push the changes from visual studio in the next video I will show you a slightly different approach of integrating visual studio with github so let's see that now